So good. Could Donald Trump's White House efforts actually benefit from the decision in the UK? Joining me now, Jessica Tarloff, Gina Loudon, and Steve Rogers. Uh, Gina, no doubt that it was a terrible week for President Obama for a number of reasons. But how good of a week was it for Donald Trump? It was a really good week for Donald Trump. He opened with that amazing speech. And here's the exciting thing, as Senator Sessions pointed, today, pointed to today, you know, British change often precedes uh, what happens in the U.S. And we, as we saw with Thatcher, and then we had the Reagan Revolution. And, uh, you know, I think societies have to pick. They can be great, Charles, or they can be safe. And today, uh, yesterday, uh, Britain picked great. And Americans miss greatness. I think that's why this is a foreshadowing of a win for Donald Trump, because I think there's very little about Hillary that kind of says to you greatness. But Donald Trump, we see what he does, we see what he's built, and we think greatness, and we want yeah. it. All right, well, Jessica, you kind of smirked there. What's going on? Oh, the implication that I would think greatness in Donald Trump is what made me smirk there. But I, I love Gina for the her The man was in Scotland opening up one of the world's most impressive golf courses. Yes, he should stick to that and not try to be my president. You will agree, though, that the themes that are echoing, not just 100%. in the U.K., but throughout the Western world, are echoing in this country as well. 100%. I think that this was uh, not a great thing for President Obama. I don't think he should have been campaigning on behalf of uh, staying anyway in the first place. I don't think it was necessarily our place to How do that. How bad would it hurt? Will it hurt Hillary? I don't think it'll hurt her that badly. I How thought bad? her risk. Like a scale of one to ten, three? Like a, no, like a two. A two? Yeah. All right, Steve. Before I get to you, let's read uh, Hillary Clinton's statement uh, to the audience because she chimed on this uh, as well as. Uh, as uh, President Obama, quote, we respect the choice of the people of the United Kingdom that the United Kingdom have made. This time of uncertainty only underscores the need for calm, steady, experienced leadership in the White House to protect Americans' pocketbooks and their livelihoods. All right, again, going back, Steve, to the, un the underlying theme for everything she talks about, we'll always get back to temperament. Whether it's economy, whether it's safety, no matter what it is, and she tried to allude to it once again with that statement. It's amazing how the establishment politicians continue, continue to try to tell us how we should live. We are in the midst of a worldwide rebellion against the establishment. Hillary Clinton represents the establishment in the United States. Just like UK the, decided to leave to get out of the uh, uh, European Union, I believe that the American people are going to send her walking come November. Donald Trump called it, and this is going to help him immensely. Now, I will say one thing, Gina. The uh, demographic makeup is different in the UK than it is in America, so that works to, to, uh, to, to Hillary Clinton's advantage. And I, I think, and if I'm in a Donald Trump camp, it was a phenomenal week, but you've got to find a way to leverage it beyond your core voters. If anything, Charles, the bent in, in Europe generally is, is more leftist and more socialist. So the fact that they could stop, recognize where they are, and remember what they could be, I, I think is actually more encouraging because I think there's a gritty individualism in the United States that's going to prevail and, and favor Trump. But also this, Hillary's comment that you pointed to is exactly the descriptor we need to distinguish the difference between what the left does with a little bit of a, a lack of assuredness and what the right does. Hillary sounded morose in that quote, where a conservative sees opportunity and, and gets excited. And I think that's the difference. What about that, Jessica? Think, Renewed optimism as a theme to bring America I, back. I, I think that it's a great thing. I think actually both candidates are talking about optimism. They're talking about a revival of the American dream. We just need to know who has the best policies to be able to accomplish that. And I think that's firmly in Hillary Clinton's camp. But to your point, your original question to Gina, which was about demographics favoring Hillary Clinton here, and Gina went on to talk about leftists and socialists. That's not the demographics we're talking about. We're talking about diversity, people of color. And the UK is not as diverse as we are. And we know that minority voters overwhelmingly prefer Hillary Clinton. And they're going to turn out. He a 90% 90, uh, 90 unfavorable rating with blacks right, right. and with Hispanics. This Char is a really I big thing. Jessica, Jessica, go, guys. Hillary, and, Charles, Hillary and Obama's policies have failed minorities. You know well, why do minority voter, voters so overwhelmingly approve of them? I, Hillary, I take represents, your point. Hillary represents the worn out past. Donald Trump represents a hopeful, great future. That is not a future exactly. I hope for. I'd just like to be All right, guys, let's leave it there. <laughs>